While you may have been used to computers for most of your life, computers and the internet have only been around for a short time in the history of our world. Because of this, we're still learning new ways to behave online, both good and bad. Even adults are struggling with netiquette. Netiquette is online behavior, how you correspond and interact with people online through the internet, the web, your smartphone, texting, instant messages, all of that. So here are some rules to remember. Typing in all caps is considered yelling. So if you're just sending a message to someone or posting something generic, keep the caps lock off. And a hint, on MS Word, if you type with the caps lock on, spell check doesn't work. See? Caps for emphasis, not for just chatting. So don't type your very important homework paper in all caps, or you may end up failing the assignment on bad spelling alone. And speaking of spelling, use proper spelling, grammar, and punctuation when sending email, especially if you're sending to someone older or more important, like a teacher, family member, or boss. Text speak is fine among your friends, but writing, is the homework due today or tomorrow to your teacher is just bad form. Keep it clean. Don't write or send anything that you wouldn't want grandma to see. Seriously, never post a picture that would make your parents want to lock you in your room forever. Don't flame. Flaming is online mean talk like you're so fat or who did her hair a gorilla? Keep your insults and hate speech to yourself. Don't be a bully to others. Don't tease someone online because it never is permanently deleted. If you wouldn't say it to a person's face, don't post it online. And remember, colleges and businesses are now Googling future students and employees. If your name or picture are linked to something embarrassing or mean, you may not ever be able to get that diploma or that job so that you can move out of your parents' house. Be honest. Don't make up stories about yourself or others. Don't post information that you don't know is true. Rumors and innuendo are lies until you have proof that they are real. Posting something that you don't know to be factual confuses others and eventually makes you look like a liar. No one wants to be associated with a gossip either, so make sure if you're being honest that you're not being rude about it at the same time. Yes, that dress may look bad on her, but you don't have to be rude about it. In fact, you don't have to mention it at all. Respect other people's privacy. Just because someone told you something, that doesn't mean that you have to tell everyone else. If someone wants to share something about himself online, let him do it. You stay out of it. And give credit where credit is due. If someone posted something cool or interesting and it's obviously for the public to see, like a public blog or video site, then share it if you want to, but tell everyone where you got the information. Don't take credit for someone else's work. And remember that copying from a site and pasting it at Word does not mean that you did the work, so don't give it to your teacher as homework and act like you did it. That's plagiarism, and it's against the law. Cite your sources and put quotations around anything that you copy-paste. And no, you can't just put quotations around an entire article, cite it, print it out, and hand it in to your teacher. Thank you for your time.